I have a easy witch tutorial for you guys. This does not take long at all and it doesn't require that much practice. It's actually pretty simple so if you want to know how to get this look, please keep on watching. So first I'm going to just paint my face with this green cream makeup and personally um, I feel like my makeup it could have came out better but a lot of the products I used um, I personally would not recommend for you guys because this makeup kept washing off every time I layered it and I didn't really like how this applied as you can see you could still see spots on my face so this I would give a thumbs down don't use this makeup especially if you are going to be at a Halloween party all night or you're going somewhere else on Halloween don't use this makeup it's going to wash away because as soon as I was done filming for you guys it came off so yeah I wouldn't recommend this by the way I'm using my elf foundation brush to apply this to my face and you don't have to wet it just squeeze it onto your hand and mix it up and put it on your face See, it just kept coming off so I had to keep coating it and putting it back on and coating it so it was a process next I'm just taking my black eyeshadow from my Victoria's Secret palette and I didn't really like how this eyeshadow applied at all but it is Halloween so it doesn't matter if you look like a train wreck or not because it could scare your neighbors if you're trick-or-treating or you could just answer the door like this whatever I mean I don't think it looks that bad personally but the way the products applied um, I would not recommend this for your everyday wear or if you're going to Halloween party I totally give it a thumbs down this was just like a trial and error kind of thing for us so at least we got to go through this process together And then I am just fixing the edges with my green cream makeup because some of the eyeshadow came out like a blob so I'm just sharpening the edges there and giving it sort of like a wing kind of look while I'm jamming out there. <laughs> the lighting is kind of bright to be honest where I was sitting so it's hard for you to see the glitter. But it applied really well, but what happened was when it mixed with the primer and then the eyeshadow kind of melted away. So, at least you guys, this was kind of like a try-on kind of thing. So all these products were my first impression, to be honest. And I have to say I didn't really like it. I liked the glitter though, but it didn't stick to this particular eyeshadow. But everything else that I use in this video is my first time using it. But I didn't like it, so that's my review on it. You get a first-hand review in this video. Going into my Essence Eyeliner, which I love, so I mean I'm always using that in my videos. And I'm just lining my waterline. There goes my teary eyes again. And then I'm just taking my Scandal Eyes Rockin' Curves Mascara by Rimmel London and applying it to my lashes. I don't wear falsies to be honest because my skin and my lashes and stuff like that is very sensitive so I always be careful of what I put on my face or near my eyes because I don't want any accidents. And then I'm taking my black face paint and what I'm going to do is just take that same lip brush and just draw like lines for the spider web on the corner of my eyes because I figured I needed to add something more to this look and it's really easy. I think anybody can really do this. But I get different products, like I said. And my hair kept getting stuck there in my face paint, which was really annoying. So I'm just painting the lines on there. Take your time with this step. But this green makeup kept fading away, so I had to keep packing it back on there, so it was a pain. And then I'm just finishing drawing the lines in between to make it look like a spider web. And guys, by the way, that palette that I use in the, what video was it, the skull video stuff, I recommend that palette over the cream makeup, the little tube that I'm using, because I like that palette better than the cream makeup. This cream makeup, I don't know why it didn't stay. It was like watery. So, I recommend investing in something good if you want to do any tutorials or 
going if you are going to a Halloween party. And then I'm just putting some more black on there to make my lines sharper. I think that kind of looks cool. I don't know if you guys will think that, but... So then I'm just taking my lipstick by NK, I think, and it's in number 306 black. And I'm just putting that on my lips. And this lipstick was only $1.29, guys. That is not bad whatsoever, especially if you're doing tutorials and you don't want to waste your good lipstick. $1.29, it came out really nice. You could have used red, but I wanted to use black. Because I feel like red is... I mean, everyone does red, so I was just like, let's just do black. And then I'm just putting a little mole there. Making it look a little more ugly. <laughs> you can make a pretty witch, you can make an ugly witch, you can make a scary witch, whatever kind of witch you want. And there is how the spider webs look at the side of my eyes, and then the mole in my eye makeup, which I told you it kind of melted because the products was not that good. And there's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. If you have any tips, please leave them below on eye glitter or anything like that. I love to know your feedback. And until next time, I have more videos coming for you guys. Don't forget, thumbs up and subscribe if you are not already. Thanks so much for watching. I love you guys. Bye. Mwah.